Okay, so I'm going to do a video uh, showing how to get a proper uh, rollout side to shape uh, correctly. One thing that you want to look at when you uh, when you see something like this, you want to kind of uh, recognize, okay, I've got this radius here, and I've got this radius here. And obviously what has happened is either the radius has increased or the uh, center point for that radius has shifted. Okay, so overall the rest of this shape actually matches uh, what you have right here. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, so uh, what you did is you went ahead and created the shape. So you've got uh, one, two, three, four segments for the top. Okay, now when we uh, look at this, uh, if you were to click on this top edge, you would see that you have the ability to lock these points. So let's go ahead, I'm going to show you what I've created here in CV. Now, in the part shape editor right now, and uh, let's take my mouse and using the select tool, click on this line here. You can see that uh, when that line segment is highlighted, we have the start X and uh, the end X, and um, each of these has a little icon here, that's your lock icon. You'll see that you have the option when it's a y-axis to lock it to the top, the bottom, or the center, or to just leave it unlocked. Okay, now you'll notice here that the uh, the index is 0 and the start x is uh, 6773. Uh, let me explain here, starting from the origin point down here at the bottom left, this would be starting, and this would be the end x for that segment, and uh, so this would be the, st the uh, start point for this one and the end point. So it's a little bit backwards if you're thinking everything should start from the front. Okay, so let's look at this again. Uh, what I've done for this particular segment is I've locked it to the front so that it's going to maintain that distance here. And uh, I've also put a uh, an X logical constraint here for the X axis. What that does is make sure that this does not distort. Okay, in fact that may not be needed, but it was needed for this line back here. Alright, uh, so let's go back to the front here. Each of the segments is constrained. Uh, this one here is uh, the radius and you can see that I've got the end X locked to the left or to the front. We've also got the center for the X and Y. Those are both locked. So the the X is locked to the front and the Y is locked to the top. I also have a, uh, a radius constraint here which is uh, to lock this line, that radius, at that exact radius that I created here. Same thing on this radius. Uh, we have the uh, radius lock. We have the, the center X and Y. Now this one, I did not lock the X or Y on this one. And when we get to this segment here, the only modification that I have is that I've got the, uh, the X logical applied to that to keep it horizontal. So let's go ahead and uh, exit out of here. Okay, this is the result that you should be able to see when you edit the shape of that uh, row outside.